and also a surprise guest who just uh, tripped on over from the midway. I met her moments ago. Apparently, you ran into Joe Souchere also recently and mentioned that you had uh, oh, written a song and were dragging a guitar around and, and uh, we're going to jump on stage uh, with his program. Something happened, perhaps, that prevented that. But I, I want to welcome you. Uh, I have not heard what you do. You are Therese from the Midway. You work at a booth where you throw a dart at a star and throw a star, win a guitar. Is that right? And speak into the microphone if you wouldn't mind. Hit the star, win a guitar. All right, hit the star, win a guitar. So you come walking up with a guitar, and I assume you have stolen it from your own booth. But what I learned is you went to another booth where they also and stole it there and stole it. No, no. I did not you did. Want it. What did you do to win it? I had the squirt. That squirt gun race. Oh, the squirt right? gun yeah, race. Yep, yep, yep. And you won a guitar. Yeah, Curious George got to the top first twice. All right. And, and four tries. typically <laughs> it's a stuffed animal. Now you're winning the guitars out here, folks. Beautiful guitar. So I have no idea what's coming. All I know is I asked my producer to step into a back room with you and uh, hear what you uh, what you do. Pardon? Hot the song is? No, I oh. just said that. You have some resumes out, right, Jason? Okay. You have some resumes out, right? I'm always yeah. nervous sending yeah, Jason back to OK anything because he has no stake in this. It's a great practical joke. If it goes one way, if it goes the other way, I reward him with a beer. Uh, hey, he, he could be out $8 an hour pretty quick. Uh, you might wish for the best that I am. Therese, uh, you're the first person I've had on my show who works in the Midway in my uh, time doing shows here. First time you work in the Midway. What do you do ordinarily? Well, I, I used to be a housekeeper. I, I had a whole lot of really good jobs, uh, good clients that I worked for. I, um, mm -hmm. They paid me well. I mean, work environment. Come on, right. I mean, some posh homes, vacuuming, you know, it was not bad. You know? Right. Uh -huh. But, uh, 2003, I got... Well, I don't want to hear the whole hit, history. I got hit by a semi-truck. Well, you got hit by a semi? Yeah. Well, now it's getting yeah. interesting. Yeah, see? It, You're it, the it, first truck I've had. I got hit by a semi One yeah. in my back and one in my neck. And up until, like, about uh, four months ago, I was just in chronic pain because this uh. one disc was all messed up. Is right? this but song at all related my, to your injury? It's, it's, it's a country song. song. It, it, it's a country song. Uh -huh. right. I knew, I knew. As soon as I heard about the semi-truck, it's a country song. And um, I've dropped like 30 pounds, you know, just I'm like Forrest Gump, I've been just going, you know, because I'm happy, I'm not in pain, I've got, okay. I, and, I, and I'm but trying I, to get my life put back together, you know, because uh, I can do a few things now, uh, this is a nice little light duty job, I don't okay. have to do much except pa pass out a couple little darts, All right. and uh, school start, I mean, the way I got into this is my son, you know, it's nice to send him off with some new shoes, you know, uh -huh. so, you know, baby needs a new pair of shoes, it's gambling, you know, I mean, yeah, sure. okay, I'm not trying to promote, you know, but I mean, they do play bingo at church, you know, I mean, come and, on. You know, in the grand dance. tradition of country, the yeah. introduction is going to be longer than the song, so, could yes, we, can exactly. we get, yeah, let's get I'm right to, sort of country. let's get right to the song, I have no idea okay, what I've done it, here, uh, if I go out, what a way to go out. Okay, <laughs> it's more of a ballad, uh, my, yeah. my friend, she's, Fully believes in me. I gotta say, how about the sage? She lives mm -hmm. down the street from me. You got about two and, and she's the one that told me to write it. this song. Better start singing. And so uh, that's what it's. It, it's more of a ballad. The only real part I got, the guy at the music store. Hey, I it, have a gong. Showed me this gong. Okay, 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 okay. But I want to at least teach you all this little chorus. We don't because, have time. No, this you is the chorus. To... It's only two seconds. Oh dear God. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> But you might love me, you might hate me for that, okay? okay you got a minute. I'm a mom. One minute. I'm a mom, and it's a man's world. You're not going to get this song in. I'm starting right now. I'm going to show you what the chorus is. It's called Sweet Sunday, kind of Friday afternoon. And I thought of it because it's the best. 30 seconds. Okay, okay. <laughs> but I want you to hear this chorus. Because it was how I described this nice little family. They probably go to church on Sunday. But it's Friday afternoon and we're going to have fun. Speed, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> okay, now you made me. The great thing is. Don't tell me, you have to tune it. The great no, thing is, no, she's going to start an auxiliary show. You just like messing with folks, but I know how that is. I got five brothers to deal with it. Yeah, I got five brothers too, and I have had to deal with it. See, back 
in the day when I was young, they didn't have daycare, so it was kind of an odd thing. I went home to my uh, grandma's house one Friday. Sweet Sunday on a Friday afternoon. It's a sweet Sunday kind of Friday afternoon. It's a crazy, 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 sweet kind of nutty, kind of wild. right out of working people's pockets. How do they get away with it? By contributing a fortune to politicians like Mora Cohen. So the Cohen is somebody special interest can count on. His campaign contributions from insurance, oil, and gas interests total nearly $760,000. Cohen supported Bush's massive tax breaks for big oil. He even voted against cracking down on price gouging at a time of record oil company profits. So the question is, why is Norm Coleman working How did you, uh, did you all see the singer? Uh, how many were around uh, towards the end of uh, Mickey's show? Did you see the singer? Okay, I think I can explain. <laughs> explain it. I'm going to make an attempt to explain. She came to the side of the uh, stage the other day and she said, can I sing a country song for you on your show? And uh, it being the fair, sure. I said, well, give me an example. And she said, well, the lyric is, it's a sweet Sunday night kind of Friday afternoon. And I thought, well, that's pretty cool. That, that sounds kind of literary and country. And uh, she said, uh, okay, I'll get a guitar and learn how to play it. And I thought, well, why don't you... Uh, I didn't hear that part. Oh, yeah, I didn't fill you in on the whole deal. <laughs> so it turns out... Uh, and she had to go win a guitar, which to her credit, she did. She went out down on the way and won the guitar. Really? That's telling you the story right I didn't, now. Uh, I, I, this is news to me as I, well. Oh, oh, oh yes. So, uh, what game did she play? Do we know that? She uh, did Mr. Whistle Goes to the Top of the Ladder. I, I don't know that one down there. But she won a guitar. And then she came back here, and, and she was talking to Angie and Rookie, and she said, well, I'm back. Uh, to sing that song for you, and but it turns out she said I have to go to work at the Midway at that, two at two o'clock. Did that surprise you? Uh, at that point, no. Okay, that, okay. That didn't I'm just, trying, just trying to be with you. I, I was, by then I was in the in the moment. It was the the big gear was starting to work. Sure, the, the jazz big, starting to grind. Uh, okay. the, old, the old fog lifted uh -huh. up there, and the mayor said. You got to be at work at two, huh? You'd be perfect for Tommy then, because <laughs> seriously, because he was going off the air at two, and Tommy loves the uh, music and the whole deal. So, right, there's no exclusive guests. We pass them on left and right. We share, don't yeah, we? we share it. Yeah. So, uh, her name's Teresa, and out she came, and it turns out uh, that she just doesn't get one lyric so far. Right? Oh. No. <laughs> and uh, so we said, well, next year, <laughs> next year. If the whole song is written, you come back and do it for us, and she will. So that's oh. how that all happened. She got a year to practice. I didn't know that she was hit by the semi truck. Well, that uh, you know, you'll get that every once in a while. It, seeing it, well, you don't really, no, 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 you don't really get that every once in a while. No, not when you can come back and make a, uh, a country music uh, lyric. But wasn't that, isn't that kind of sweet? It was a uh, what was the name again? It was a sweet Sunday night kind of Friday afternoon, right? I, no, I, thought that, I, thought, I, thought, yeah, I was, I thought that had a lot of promise, and I was going to hear some tale of lament, which, uh, as I now understand, you, she certainly would be capable of having been hit by a semi. You would think there would be some emotion that you, you'd get out of that. You know, I think we should try to get her card, because I ran into a gentleman today. Do you remember Dwight Dario? Well, uh, you're assuming she would have a card. Uh, yeah, that's well.